don't know if you can uh, see me or I don't know if it's in shot because I can't see. Um, I just got in the car, we're off fishing. I'm just going to go and pick up the old uh, bugger, the old crinkly, and then uh, I'll get some more video when I've picked them up and we're down the beach and uh, see how it goes. Bye for now. Oh, a question answered for Jan. She said, What's for dinner? Uh, when's dinner? And I, well, just depends what I catch anything that I've done it. So, <laughs> see you all soon. Bye for now. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, he's, all right. he's just talking about his hats and all that, and thermals and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> we've arrived at the destination. No, I'm not talking to myself, Dave. I'm talking to <laughs> my subscribers. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll do some more filming when we're down there. So on to the beach. Um, see all you guys soon. Bye for now. Well, as you can probably hear, usurists, hey. we've set up camp. That's the main priority, and it's still snowing. Oh, there's Dave with all his gear. <laughs> first things first. Yeah, Kettle. And then, oh, loads of room under here, look at that. Oh, we're the kiddies for this game. Uh, Everything's here. <laughs> yes, yeah, my bag's at home. <laughs> There you go, there's all more gear there. There's our, there's our stock of food for tonight. Some, uh, two malacatonis each and a Bombay Bear Boy pot noodle. Yummy! So, we'll let you know and we'll get fishing in a minute. <laughs> oh, so, I don't know if you can see me alright. Uh, it's a bit bright. Oh, I'm going to end up with cuss concussion in a minute. Dave, this bag can sit me on the head. As you can hear, it's a bit windy, but um, we're all right. Ooh. Let you know if we catch us any fish. Oh, what's that? Oh, my screen's a bit dirty, Dave. What? My lens. What is it? Oh, it needs a clean. I'll have to sort that out. Okay, see you guys in a minute. Bye for now. <sighs> Hello, everybody. Just thought I'd uh, let you know, we're all set up, ready to go, we've just had a cup of coffee, most important. Um, got a good light now, look, you can see me now. I'm, I'm like running a handsome, aren't I? Don't take the piss, Dave. You need oh. a makeup artist? No, I don't want makeup on, I'm not a lady boy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I've got them questions that people ask me. I'm not saying nothing. Oh, the lights in my eyes though. So. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. Right. How long's a bit of string? Well, it depends how long you want to be tied up for. Simple as that. Uh, that was from Toby, that was. I've answered Jan's one. It's like when's dinner. Uh, oh. Hang on, let's get a better position. Hold it. Is that any better? Hang on. Oh, that's better. You can see. Oh, fuck. God, you fuck. Should swear, really, should I? Oh, oh no, I can't see the grip. Right, uh. Where was I? How long was it? Oh, here's one of Qu Day's, uh, one of uh, Crinkly Woodsman's uh, questions. Uh, he says, Are we there yet? Um, I think you can safely say, Dave, we are. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, Toby. So I thought I'd do these question and answers um, while I'm sitting here waiting for Dave to break out of the bait, you know what I mean? He wants to get in first. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, can you use yourself as bait? Well, if we was on a boat and Dave was after sharks, then maybe I'd jump in and just give him a little tiddle, you know what I mean? A little, uh, little teaser. Uh, they wouldn't seem a worm though, because it's too small. Uh, okay, right. Ah, here's one from Becky. What bait do I prefer when fishing and 
for what fish? That's a good one, Becky. Um, well, in all honesty, uh, ragworm is the best all-rounder. Um, but we use squid, uh, called calamari squid, that's really good. Uh, we use uh, sand eels, uh, mackerel, um, sometimes fish that have, we've caught that are going to die if we put them back anyway, so we use them as bait as well. Uh, we use, uh, did you say you bought some Harry bows tonight, Dave? Oh yes, uh, and we're going to try a secret weapon tonight. I'm going to try a Harry bow on a hawk, and I will film it, don't worry. So that should be interesting, see if I'll catch something on a Harry bow. Um, but apart from that, I'll, we can use lugworm, but I'll, I very rarely use them. They're, you know, I've never had much luck with them. Um, now for ragworm, we're after uh, most important bass, uh, whiting, pouting. Um, this time of the year, there's, there's, there should be some flounders around. Uh, is the place in with the flounders yet, Dave? Uh, no, and they come in a little bit later, don't they? Yeah, a bit cold for them. Yeah, so uh, it'll be flounders. Um, they still look like a place, but they're just called a flounder. They're different colours. Uh, the place has got um, orange spots on it. That's how you can tell it's a, a place. Um, so... Yeah, so... Um, oh, by the way, just to let you know, um, does anybody know how many fish you can get in a pair of women's tights? I'll give you a few minutes to answer. Well, let me give you the answer. Five. You can get two eels, two soles, and a wet place. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the bait we're using tonight is ragworm. And we've, I've got a um, bit of mackerel, old mackerel, so smelly mackerel, which is good. Um, and a few pelton. Oh, there you go. There's the, uh, there's the ragworm. Let me show you. There's the ragworm. Oh, hang on. I'll focus on it. Oh, no. Yeah, there's the ragworm. Lovely bit of ragworm for the old uh, males to feed. So, <coughs> all right. Okay, people. I'll let you get back to whatever you was doing. Uh, no naughties, I hope. And I'll let you know as soon as we catch something or whatever and see how the evening goes. Bye for now. See you later. There we go. We're fishing. Talk to YouTubers, Dave. <laughs> Never know, I might interview with you in a minute. Oh, there's more one. Don't know if that's picking it up. Oh. Yeah, not on point yet. There's Dave's one. Yes, that's his uh, blind stick. <laughs> uh, that's so that he can see it in the dark. And he also uses it as a walker stick when he goes home. <laughs> oh. So, what do you reckon, Dave? Is it cold? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, Dave. Look at that battery off. I've only just started filming. Look, it's down two bars already. Uh, yeah, so it just shows you how cold it is, peoples. Uh, I've just switched on for this video that I'm doing now. And my battery has gone down two uh, bars, so I don't think I'm going to get much filming done on this camera. <laughs> oh, I mean. Yeah, that, yeah, look, down, down, a, down a one bar now already. Yeah, and that's um, that was fully charged before I come out. <laughs> okay, people, I don't know if you can see me, but um, there you go. I'll, uh, I'm going to turn it off now because uh, it looks like I'm just going to lose the battery already. So I'll see you all soon. Bye for now. Don't know if you can see that. I'm shouting the thing in case you can't hear me. I've got a bite. So.
Oh yes, and the snow's coming as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a lovely point that was. Come on, you little fishy, have another little nibble. If he has another nibble, Dave, I reckon he's on there, mate. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this on the camera, uh, everybody, but it was actually chucking a name of snow here. Oh, yes, definitely pumped it. Right, let's have a look and see what I got. Yeah, I'll leave it running. Right. Like he, yeah, feels like he's on there, though. Feels like... Oh, hang on. I thought he was on there, but... Oh. Yeah. No, nah, look, he's chopped me worm, though. Well, a little bugger, he chopped me worm and he's gone. Okay. Well, I don't know if you can see this, but what I'm going to do, hang on, let's see if I can get you close. Is that any better? Oh yeah, it might be better. Bear with me, I'm doing the best I can. Right, I need to change over tactics because we just had a big bite on Dave's, probably a bass, so we've got to change, I've got to change tactics because I wasn't on the same. So, I've got to get... A swivel on there. Don't know if you can see that. Pull it round. Yeah. And then pull it like that and then you just turn it. Best knot I ever use this is. Just turn it. About about six, eight turns. As you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see it. It, it looks like that. Oh, I don't know. Like that. And then you get that end. You put through the little loop. Yeah. And then you bring it... Oh, hang on. Put it through the loop. Well, I'll get my eyes on it. There you go. And then you come back through there. Pull that tight. And then rub that with your teeth and pull it tight and the knot should look like that. I don't know if I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I will take some pictures of it, so don't worry. So that's that. Uh I'm put the cutters door, oh, there they are. So uh, cut that off and then you do the same on the on a hook end and somebody's playing a fireworks. So I'll do the same on that, I'll do it just do it quick. I don't have to film this one. Oh. What I might do is I might do a couple of videos on uh, the knots uh, from at home or whatever. Right, that's it, I'm all done. That was quick, wasn't it? And change over to a gripper. That's what they call a grip lid. Yeah, so what happens is you put them on, put them on like that, they just clip in, and as you can see, oop, as you can see, like that, it, it looks like that, and then it digs in the sand. When it has a bite, it actually pulls them out. And then it's free, free throwing. So there you go. Not very good at explaining stuff like this, but you know, I'm having a go. Right. Swap more fluorescent one. Wait. 
just unclip him, put him in there, back on, and now I'm going to put another wormies on. If you're squeamish, look away now. Be a nice one, right? There's the ragworm. What you do, put it in the head, through the mouth if you can. A bit squeamish, but I oh know. Put it down like right that. And threadle him down the hook, over the eye of the hook, up the line a little bit. And that way, should look like that. I don't know if you can see that all right. There you go. Should look like that. That's all ready to go in the water. So there you go. I thought I'd show you that with you. Show you that. So, okay. I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you can see me all right. Uh, yeah. Oh. oh well, just to let you know, uh, I'll answer your questions as we go along in the video. So if you've uh, got a question that you wanted answered, then uh, I'll uh, answer them as we go through the video. As you can tell, it's bloody cold. That's not me smoking, and I'm not on a vape. That's how cold it is. It's apparently naught degrees, so but we've just lit a fire, so home from home. So there you go. Just thought I'd uh, keep you updated. Uh, Dave's uh, caught one fish, so um, I'll keep you updated. Bye for now. Right, uh, just so, I don't know if you can hear me all right, but just to let you know, I'm just going to let this one go. He's a bit small. Hopefully we'll be able to see him get away. Oh, there you go. There he goes. He's swimming down, look. There he is there. As soon as that wave comes in, he's going to go. He's out the mouth. What's the spines on this? Oh, there he goes. There he goes. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, he's gone. Just to uh, prove to you that I, I don't keep small fish. Let him go a swim and fight for another day. Well, you see the size of my bass. Let me just show you Dave's. He's oh, he's gone. <sighs> Yeah, it was a postage stamp. <laughs> <laughs> right, catch you all soon. Bye for now. <laughs> right, just a few minutes since Davis has got a nice point on his rod. Fishing rod. Not anything else. I don't know what the wind's like, so please excuse me. Not more wind either. The wind uh, around us. The turbulence.
I'm just waiting to see if he bites again. Is he going to bite? You watch as soon as I stop filming it, better stop, better bite, won't it? Oh, yeah. You never know, mate. Might, might be double figure cod, mate. Does that look like he's nibbling? No? Uh, okay, we'll get back to that in a minute. If Dave gets another bite, I'll film it again. Bye for now. There you go. Right, another quick, another. I'll do some more questions on page. Uh, I can't remember where I got up to. Hold the bait. Uh, am I going to eat what I catch? Uh, yes, I will eat what I catch if it's big enough. Um, I do like the fish. Uh, as you can see, I just caught a small bass, but it's um, a school, what they call a schooly bass, which is too too small to take home really, uh, and also illegal. Uh, so I didn't want to take that one home. So hopefully we catch a big one. So yes, I will eat what I catch if they're big enough to take home. So that answers that question from Tom. All right, what else is there? Let's have a look. Oh. Right, uh... <laughs> right, one from Dave Wiltshire. How do I fish in the snow? Uh, coldly. As you can see. Cold, but we've got a fire going, so uh, we've got our ski suits on. And as Colin got me, this, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little neck warmer. And I'll tell you what, it's ideal. It's warm as toast, and I'm warm as toast. So I'm loving it. Uh, and that, that's all the questions I've got at the moment, really. Uh, and as you can see, Jan, um, Dinner was almost there, but needed to be bigger. I'm sure you'd appreciate something bigger. Uh, so, <laughs> so there you go, Jan. So, uh, okay, we'll get back to you in a minute if um, if we catch anything else. Uh, but it looks like it's all right at the moment. We caught some bass, uh, and we've also caught uh, a couple of wheating. So, they're on the cards. See what happens. But we're after the big stuff, so. Okay, I'll see you all soon. Bye for now. As you can see, people, another bass. Only little baby. But um, them spines on the top, I don't know if you've seen them. If you ever catch one, watch them, because they can really do some damage to your hands. And down on the sides, they've got little spines on these. So have, always be careful when you're handling them ones, the bass. So there you go, he's going back in he Dave. Thank you sir. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're Thank putting you. him back. Bye -bye. <laughs> Stuck in your glove. <laughs> no, you're supposed to put him back Dave, not put him inside your glove. Oh. <laughs> Hang on Dave, let me just... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, mate. Hang on, I'll come back to it. Yeah, the fucker's gonna be dead by the time we get him in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on. Oh, there. oh, Dave's caught a, caught, caught, caught a glove. There he goes. He's gone to chuck him in the water. He's gone. This worm's caught a glove, Dave. <laughs> Oh, wait. <laughs> Better check mine, and I. Yeah, not much on there at the moment. Well, that's all right. Uh, if it's windy, I do apologise. I'll see if I can do something about it. On my programme. 
Oh, that one needs to come up. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Bombay bad boys. Yummy. With a nice cup of coffee. Yummy. Oh, there you go. Let you know if we catch another fish in a minute. Bye for now. Oh, it's quick on. <coughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Just to let you know, I'm going to try something new for fishing. I'm going to put some arrow bows on my hook and see what happens. There we go. I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, 15 pound bass on a Harry bow. Hey! Right. I'll, uh, <laughs> don't, know if you can, don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. They are cold, Dave. Well, I'm not going to waste them, Dave, because if I don't catch nothing, I'll eat them when I bring them back in. <laughs> oh, I think I'm only going to need two on here, Dave. That's handy, more for me. Now, there they go. Can you see them? Harry Bows. <laughs> right. Just to make sure they stay on now. Where's more elastic? There it is. It's called fishing elastic and it helps to keep stuff on the hooks. There you go. You don't have to tie it off or nothing. Right. Oh, I forgot. Fifty minutes to find you. I won, Emily. All oh, right. Okay. Right. Okay, everybody. I'll let you know how it goes. Bye for now. Yeah, it is skinny, isn't it? Oh, I'm trying to get a picture on.